Good morning everyone, here from the beautiful island of Tobago. We arrived here two days ago from the island of Trinidad and this is the main tourist island of Trinidad and Tobago. So you can probably see why already. Just this amazing beach. Yeah, I don't think the island of Trinidad had beaches like this. No, there are also beautiful beaches there, like the Maracas beach that we went, we loved it. But it's different from here. I think here it's the, the sand is like whiter, just look more like you know, what you expect for, from the Caribbean paradise type of beach. So this place is called Pigeon Point Heritage Park. It was 20 to enter. That's 20 in their currency. I think that's around three US dollars. So I think it's kind of like a protected area. Lots of clean beaches. I think that's the main beach over there. It's a lot of different beaches though, so yeah, really nice place. seen a lot of different shades of blues throughout the Caribbean. Yeah, and this one is more like uh, cloudy. Like cloudy looking. Yeah, but it's really beautiful. It's different from the other islands that we've been to this trip. Yeah, and this is the kind of place that I think people spend the entire day. So there's lots of like different restaurants and bars. You can see one over there. And obviously there's the different beaches and boat tours. You can see a boat coming in right now. So depending on the tour times, we might actually do that boat tour. What's the place called? Nylon? Nylon pool and I think Buko Reef. Buko Reef. Snorkel. Yeah, I think it's one of the main things to do here, so we might do it today. Yeah, if you watch our videos, you'll know that we like snorkeling, especially in this region. And I also saw that you can buy a ticket to this place for an entire week. So for a day it's 20 per person, but for a week it's 100. So if you're coming like many days, it's worth buying the package for seven days. A weekly pass. Yeah. Another beach restaurant here. Smells good. Yeah, really, really smelling good. I'm hungry already. Yeah, we're gonna be eating soon. So this is at the top point, the top point of Pigeon Point. Forest Park Rum. Get rum on all of the islands. So I think this is the side where you get like the water sports equipment, jet skis. I think the boat tours leave over here too even do that those mini sailboat things never done that before yeah nobody really sunbays on this side but still a beautiful beach all the way along no people so i think we are going to do the boat tour a guy just approached us and the next boat is leaving at 2 p.m it's around 1 p.m now so yeah we'll just get a quick bite to eat and then we'll do the tour Thank you. 
ended up going to a local's food shack. It was kind of like a tent. We did go to the restaurant. The dishes there, I think, were like 60 per dish. But from the local, we got all of this for 60. So two pretty big cokes. We got some pies in there, chicken pie and a fish pie. We also got this, which is one of the famous dishes in Trinidad Tobago. It's called Ulori, which I think is a fried spiced pea ball, dough ball. Yeah. So we'll see how that is. We put some like pepper and sauce on there. Do you want to try it first, Cal? Yeah. Really good. Let me see it's the almost, inside. It's almost like there's meat. Really? Yeah. Tastes like meat. Something like that. I don't know how to explain <laughs> it. Well, maybe it's just the, the oil that they, they fried. Oh, in the same aisle or something. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking it's that. It was fried in the same oil as like the pies or something. Ooh, extra spicy kick. Yeah, really good. And once again, the dough is very soft. So it's not chewy or hard to chew. It's really good. Doug wants some poluri. Yeah. <laughs> spicy poluri. Yes, it seems really easy to find uh, reasonable prices in Trinidad and Tobago. For example, the entry fee here, just under $3. There's a lot of places in the Caribbean where they charge like really high fees, usually more aimed at like Americans and stuff. But not here, so that's good. His friend came too. <laughs> I haven't had a pie in ages either. No, that's my fish. Oh, it's yours? Yeah. Well, it's approved, Carol. Yeah. It, it tastes good. Yeah, I prefer this though, the Puluri. I still think number one is the doubles so far. Yeah, I love doubles. Beef pie time! So we're gonna do the boat tour now. The first guy that we spoke with said it was 150 per person and then he took us to the captain and the captain charged us 250 per person 100 extra per person but then we just said oh the other guy said 150 and he was like oh you got the local price then okay so yeah we just paid 300 would have been quite a bit more that as well like 30 dollars more for the both of us but you can also book it on get your guide for the 150 price if you want so I'll put that link below so I don't know which boat it is one of these ones here like a party boat back there. So our boat is called Sugar Lips. It's actually a glass bottom one. Let's see if we're gonna see anything later on. a place called Nylon Pool. Really far away from the coast, look. And we can stand up. We've been to one place like this before. Yeah, when we did a boat trip to Isla Saona, uh, there was one stop that was pretty similar to this. That's like, in the Dominican Republic. Yeah, like a pool like this. Got the party boat again over there. You can also do jet skiing out here if you want. They uh, approach the boat. So we actually had a stop before this one. It was a snorkel spot. But the water was very choppy, it was pretty chaotic. And also the masts were probably the worst masts that we've ever had on a snorkel tour. Yeah, those like very cheap ones that you buy in some random store, uh, like proper masks. But for me, it wasn't so bad. I was still able to go like, snorkeling and I saw the corals. They were like very beautiful. So many corals, like big ones. And fish, parrot fish, saw other fish too. But Chris had a, ra a very hard time, so <laughs> not very enjoyable for him. Yeah, they didn't have any more mass left that you could clip on the thing to breathe. So uh, yeah, not, not so good. 
But I really like this part though. I think after this we're gonna be going to another beach. Party time. We're now in no man's land. That is the actual name of the beach. So I think we got about 30 minutes here. We were just out there before, pretty close. Probably got a drink here too. There seems to be all these bars. So you also have some local barbecue food here. It is a weekend, so it's busier than normal. I got a Stag beer, 15. That's also a Trinidad beer. I actually tried it in Barbados recently. And Carol got her favorite always. Rum punch. Yeah, I think that was 40. 40, yeah. I actually have a funny story to tell. When we were in Barbados, we went to the street party at night, and then I, uh, we were drinking there, and I told Chris, oh, can you get me a rum punch? And then he went to the bar, and he said, uh, I want a rum and punch. <laughs> rum and a punch in the face. A rum and a punch in the face. Rum and a punch in the face, please. Yeah, he thought that was actually the name of the drink, but it's <laughs> rum punch, not rum and punch. Yeah, I can definitely see why it's called no man's land, though. I think you can drive here, but I'm not entirely sure. On Google Maps, it seems to show a road. Might just be a trail. This looks like a kind of lagoon. Yeah, it's called Bonacord Lagoon. Bonacord. This is the apartment that we've been staying. It's actually raining very heavy now. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. And it is a simple one, like a lot of the places that we stay, $55 a day. Nice price, because we're pretty close to the beach, walking distance. And just like a lot of the places we stay, it's just one room, everything together, kitchen, dining table, and then also just a normal bathroom. It's a nice place though. And the car that we've been renting is $47 a day. So yeah, usually in the Caribbean, if we get in like the accommodation and car for around $100, that's a good deal for us. And also, as we mentioned before, here's also affordable because of the food. I think the doubles that we were eating were even under a dollar, something like 80 cents. So usually we get two doubles each and a drink. And I think that was only coming up to around like $2.50 per person. A uh, full meal, so really good. So it is night time now. I'm gonna have to speak very loud because of the music. We've come to a place called Bukus for the Sunday school. You can probably hear the music behind me. That's steel pan music, which is famous in the Caribbean. And that was actually invented here in Trinidad and Tobago. So they have like a school with the steel pans. You're gonna see it's really cool. And then you could also get food. So I just got a cutter and Carol's getting a fish cutter. Like a, a sandwich.
is the next morning and guess what we're eating for breakfast the famous doubles again like we got in Trinidad so good <laughs> yeah we got four of them a lot of the places were closed because it's kind of like a breakfast thing a lot of people eat it for breakfast and it's around 1 p.m. but we found a place on the road so I got four of them and two orange juice that was 40 overall it's always an affordable thing to eat nice and spicy again yeah and sweet I love the sweetness yeah that's one thing that surprised us the first time we ate it because of the tamarind we didn't know it would be kind of sweet sweet and spicy when we came to this beach here I'm not even sure what the name is seemed like a nice spot to have breakfast at Now we've arrived at a place called Fort King George, just like the fort on the island of Trinidad, named after the English king in the past. I don't know if this one is also for free, the one in Trinidad we didn't have to pay anything. Look at the size of this tree guys, some absolutely wacky tree. Are these things dangling off it part of the tree or is that something growing on it? Uh, here I can see some cactus. Yeah, I don't know, but the whole thing has like plants growing out of it. Looks like a very old tree. So by the looks of it, this one's going to be more impressive than the one in Trinidad. There wasn't much to see in Trinidad. This one actually has some buildings and stuff. Even this building's got the plants growing all over it. And another one of those trees. Those crazy trees. The powder magazine. The magazine dates from the French occupation of 17... 83 and was probably part of their plans for establishing a major fort on Scarborough Hill Yeah, I think the town that we're in now is called Scarborough What is a magazine? I thought it was the thing that you read Yeah, I think it's some sort of artillery in thing English? also oh, okay. No, it, it can be a magazine like that you read also, but it's definitely not that in this yeah, case yeah. <laughs> It seems to be really well preserved though Completely upright still we go inside. I hear something, maybe bats. Really? Oh, there are bats. Whoa. Oh, I'm not going inside. You're not going inside? Yeah, they're flying around. There isn't much to see though. Whoa. this thing here like a, a dome or maybe some sort of well yeah I can still see water in there underground water system existed at least as early as 1799 with a capacity of 35,000 gallons it was the main water supply for the fort artillery men's barracks number two yeah I think some of the buildings have been converted into like museums so i think we can get some views of the other side from here oh yeah real nice views i suppose it is a bit similar to the one in trinidad actually over there we had the views to our final beach of the video it's a deserted one called Kilgwin I don't think you have any developments whatsoever no stores or anything they have that tree here that we saw in Barbados so I think it's called Mackinil tree the super toxic one you see signs everywhere you can see there's like a X mark here so there were signs here saying that you can't even touch the bark like even now Apparently even that's dangerous, so yeah, some pretty nuts tree. I think all these are. 
Yeah, I'm definitely loving Tobago for the beaches. Carol's falling asleep. <laughs> That's how relaxing it is here. Yeah, it seems to be quite big too. Just behind here is the airport strip. Probably end the video here. We're just gonna be chilling out at the beach and then we're just gonna head back to the apartment. We're not gonna be doing too much. But tomorrow we have another action packed day. So we'll make another video. We're gonna head to the other side of the island and show how it is there. It looks amazing too. So if you like this one, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.